I'm going to do a little video on network cables or making your own or just going out and buying them. So you've got a couple of options. One each you can just go out and buy them like this. And they look quite nice, don't get me wrong. They probably look better than what you probably can make them or for the average person anyway. So I did buy a load of these just to try them out and I think I bought 24. And the idea behind that is I've got a 24 port network switch and a 24 patch panel connection here. And the idea is I want to try and make some of my own. And I've already made one, this one here, and it looks quite nice, I think. What do you think? Yeah? Quite good. So why would you want to make your own? Well, a couple of reasons, really. One is because if you buy them in bulk like this, say 24, they're all the same length. So you'd have to order some at this length and some at a different length to reach the ones that are further away because this is a straight line patch panel yes and the switch isn't it's eight eight and eight plus four so if i wanted say for instance put this one into the far one it's not going to reach so i'd have to get a longer cable but what i could do is make my own like so and go voila there you go job done yeah don't forget this is all going into an actual data cabinet or server, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, you get the idea. If you can make your own, why not? Now, there is a couple of ways of doing this. There is a traditional way, which I find very difficult, believe it or not, which is basically, it's a pass-through. These little things there. There's little tiny holes there, and you have to line up all the cables, all the little tiny cables, push them through that little hole there and they come out there and then you can trim them up and crimp them together and it does work but I do find them really difficult to actually do so I'd rather not use them now there's two different types there's either the actual RJ45s yes which is what these are these are all RJ45s and they're, and they're all Cat6 now you can get these now these are what normally would go into a patch panel that doesn't have all the holes or all the slots already pre-made like this it'd just be blanks and then you'd make your own which i've already done a video on or if you've got a faceplate like this say for instance you're doing your own cabling for your house and you want network everywhere you do something like this so the idea behind this is you make your cable I'm not going to do that right now because I've already made a video. Check it out on my actual YouTube channel. So you make something like this, cable will come out of that end, and then that will go in something like that. And there you go. And then you put your cable into there and run it to whatever you need it to run it to. Like, say, for instance, your PC or something like that. Or your game console. Yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy when you know how. Now, I did get these sent to me from VCE Link, and yeah, they work extremely well. They do exactly what they're supposed to do if you want to make something like that. And they did leave a bit of bareness sticking out the back, and uh, they didn't look fantastic, but they done the job. And it's only a question of you know, a bit of practice, and you get better at it. Now, with this, which I made earlier, as you can see, there's no bare wires sticking out. It's nice and neat, and it looks very professional. Now, this was just my first experiment, and yes, I have tested it, and it works extremely well. So that's why I thought, oh, I'll make a little video showing you how I actually do it. Now, it does come in three different colours. Black, white, and I believe the other one was blue. And there's probably other companies out there who probably do it in other colours as well. So for the actual testing, I've done it in black. But I've decided I want to try it again and do it in white. I will move things out of the way in a second. So uh, basically, we're going to make a white one. Using black cable, funny enough. So there they come. Come in two packs. So you get two in there, two in there. And it's really easy to do. Trust me. If I can do it, you can do it. Believe it or not. Let me move everything out of the way so I can actually show you what I'm actually going to be doing. Now, I would recommend you should buy something like this. So this is a network cable kit, if you like. And it's got a tester on it. It's got a punch down. It's got a little cutter, which I really like. It's got crimping tools, a couple of screwdrivers, and a couple of other little bits you may need. But you won't need everything 
for in this video but you will need a crimping tool or something to cut the actual cable with so you need something like that i will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check that out you need the parts so we have a locker sleeve a cover we have a part of the tool and the other part so this this will actually go once you do all the wiring basically it will go over there like that and sit there like that now it's color coded to tell you which one you are going to be doing so we are going to be doing B, not A. So you've got B there, and you've also got B and A up there. So we will be B green and B orange, that way. And down here, it'd be B brown and B blue. Yeah, and they are both the same, B and A on that one. But it's up here, which is different, okay? So it's something to remember. So you need something like that. Again, I'll stick links in the video description. You also need some cat six cable which is this yes and uh that's about it really let's get on with it so i use a crimping tool basically just to make sure i cut it nice and clean so like i said you don't have to use this but gives you an idea so i'm just going to cut it randomly i'm not going to cut it to exact size now to strip the outer cover i use this because it works extremely well so just bend it a bit I'm going to cut it about there, and that's it. And pull that off, job done. So that might be a little bit too much, but it makes it a little bit easier for you when you're actually doing it. So just push all that back like so. And then, and then you need one more little tool, which is this, a little pair of snips, which I find very useful. So I'm going to cut the string off. There's a little bit of string here. That works really well on that. Cut this bit of uh, plastic or separator. Whoops, <laughs> that's gone. So I've got them out of the way. Now what you do is you get the first two sets of wires, which would be your orange and the greens. And if you look underneath, it will show orange stripe, solid orange, green stripe, solid green. That's for the B, okay? So you need to do them first and they go through them holes there. So orange stripe, so all you've got to do is unravel it. Same again, we want a stripy green and solid green. It's always best to double check as well, just in case you're not sure. So get it something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, so B is stripe, solid orange, stripe green, solid green. And then all you gotta do is line them up like that in them little holes. push them through and then if it gets stuck if you just take it back a little bit and give it a little bend it helps it to lift it through like so there you go and you can go as much as you like so I'm going to go back there yes yeah perfect so far now for the top ones you want stripy blue solid blue stripy brown solid brown uh, easy to understand Again, do that and do them. Same with the brown. And then all you do, these go on top, so you just push them down. Snap it in. Same again. Da, da, da. And one more. So that is done. Then all you've got to do is cut the top ones off first. So get your little snips. Making sure you don't cut the ones underneath. Like so. That's all done. Bend that down a little bit and cut them off. And voila. Yeah, that's it. And then we put this on. Like so. Now I find that that is quite hard to push down. So what I find is a nice pair of pliers like this, just to give it a little crimp. 
I've been using the crimping tool and you can hear it click in sort of thing job done now I know what someone's going to say oh yeah but you didn't put your sleeve on <laughs> well I've got an open end at the moment so I don't need to so that will go in like that and then that will go on as well like that bring that up now when you put this on there's a little hole there and there's a little cut out there or a little raised bit there edge so that will go on there like that and it will click in that's job done and then wind it up and do it up nice and tight that is it see how clean that is now when you do the other end obviously you need to put these on first so that would go on there and then that would go on there job done and then basically we do exactly the same And there you go, job done. Right, let's give her a test. I want to see if she actually works. So, that in one end. Put that out of the way. Yeah, we'll clean up the mess in a bit. That in there. And turn on. Perfect. And that looks a lot neater, doesn't it? making your own you can make it to your own lengths like i said i didn't actually try it out or measure up for any particular length i just wanted to show you how easy it is providing you've got the right bits to make your own link in the video description let me just show you what it looks like on my switch all right i've only made two cable but you get the idea you can either buy them pre-made and then you'd have to buy all different sizes or different lengths and you know that would work or you can do what I do make your own and it still looks just as nice I think and you can get them in different colors and there are companies that do do them in other colors as well it's just you know this particular company at the time of making this video I could only see white black or blue but you never know they might do them in loads of other colors like they do in these ones green blue black red yellow whatever you like you could probably find them online somewhere so with that as always i will stick links into the actual products in case you want to go and buy them i'll also stick in a link for the actual switch and for the patch panel as well in case you you know you're interested in buying something like that i don't know you might do i did i bought one i'm very interested this is all going into my new cabinet or my first ever cabinet my server cabinet i've never actually owned one before and this is all part of the build for installing all of this into there and some other bits as well that you haven't seen yet well you might have seen them i don't know it depends when you watch this video doesn't it so uh, with that if you like this video and found it informative or even enjoyable like i did i enjoyed actually doing this it's really good nice bit of fun if you enjoyed it you know what i do click on the bell for notifications subscribe and give this video the thumbs up thank you very much for watching